scientists just uncovered what's basically Earth's own version of a dinosaur fossil hidden deep under the ocean near Easter Island. It's like finding a time capsule from 200 million years ago, revealing secrets of our planet's very ancient history. Earth's surface is made up of giant pieces, like puzzle pieces, called tectonic plates. These plates are slowly moving around all the time. Under these plates, there is a super hot layer called the mantle, and this layer is what helps the plates move. In September 2024, a team of geologists finally published the groundbreaking discovery that mentioned this ancient megastructure. This old piece of ocean floor might be connected to why the ocean floor is spreading apart faster in some places than in others. To figure this out, scientists use sound waves, known as sonars, to create a sort of map of what's happening deep underground. What they found was weird. There's a blob of stuff under the Nazca Plate, a plate near South America, that's moving much slower than it should be. Now, Normally, when plates move, some of the material sinks into the Earth like a conveyor belt. But in this case, it's going slower than expected like it's getting stuck on something. That something could be an ancient part of the ocean floor that got pushed down into the Earth about 250 million years ago. This discovery is like finding a fossil deep inside the Earth that shows us what things were like a really long time ago. When the ocean floor spreads apart, it's because two tectonic plates are moving away from each other. In the middle of the ocean, there's a long crack or ridge when this happens, kind of like a seam in the Earth. As the plates pull apart, hot melted rock called magma from deep inside the Earth bubbles up through this crack. When the magma hits the cold ocean water, it cools down and hardens, creating a new crust. This process keeps pushing the plates further apart. This process is also known as the Earth's mantle's recycling system. It's like the Earth keeps generating its own mantle constantly. On the surface, this process can cause earthquakes, underwater volcanic eruptions, and the formation of new land, sometimes even creating volcanic islands over millions of years. The cracks where this spreading happens are called ocean ridges, and one of the most famous ridges is the one we're talking about now, the East Pacific Rise. It's famous because it's spreading faster than most ones. This new discovery helps to explain why this may be so. You see, this huge megastructure sort of serves as a time capsule. Since the Earth's mantle is constantly changing and being created, finding a fossilized version of it is making scientists go bananas. It shows us what Earth looked like millions of years ago, back when the continents were in different places and our buddies dinosaurs roam the planet. This ancient chunk of ocean floor also helps us understand how tectonic plates have moved through history. Although we usually hear and talk about Pangaea, the first supercontinent to exist on Earth was actually called Valbara. The shifting and moving of these tectonic plates are actually what gave rise to the continents we know and live in today. This huge fossil can also help to improve our knowledge of the so-called Earth's mantle's recycling system. By learning how this huge piece of crust got stuck and slowed down, scientists can better predict things like volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. Plus, it might even help us understand how other planets, like Mars or Venus, work beneath their surfaces. Well, I'd say science has a lot on its plate now. <laughs> Pun intended. Other surreal stuff is constantly being found at the bottom of the oceans, seas, and lakes. Like this underwater Stonehenge, scientists discovered a mysterious pile of cairns that stretch for miles under the shimmering waters of Lake Constance at the edge of Switzerland, Germany, and Austria. Archaeologists began to discover this back in 2015, and they haven't been able to understand what the site was actually used for. What they know until now is that there is a 12-mile line of 170 man-made stone cairns submerged under Lake Constance. Scientists say this was most likely the work of several villages and that the cairn site was probably used for some collective purpose. The formations are huge, some of them are several dozen feet wide, and they can build up to 6 feet. 
the site probably dates back to 5,500 years ago. Now, it's no coincidence that scientists are calling this site the underwater Stonehenge, though. Both sites are believed to have been built around the same period of time. You see, Stonehenge dates back to around 3100 BCE. And also, both sites carry the distinct characteristics of stone monuments built in a circular format. Let's say they're like cousins. Meanwhile, in 2007, archaeologists found what looks like another mini version of Stonehenge underneath Lake Michigan. It's about 40 feet underwater, and this circle of stones is believed to have been created by indigenous people. They would have built it during the last ice age, when the lake wasn't even filled with water. The rocks are about 4 feet tall, and one of them might even have a carving of a mastodon, which was a huge elephant-like animal that lived more than 10,000 years ago before going extinct. If the carving is real, it could help scientists figure out just how old this site really is. What makes this even more mysterious is that nobody knows why the rocks were arranged in this way. But since a similar stone structure was found on Beaver Island nearby, experts think it's no accident. They were definitely placed there on purpose. The stones form two rings. The outer one is about 40 feet wide, and the inner one is about 20 feet wide. All the rocks are made from local granite, and they've been down there for around 9,000 years which makes this one of the oldest structures in North America. To give you an idea of how ancient that is, these stones were set up long before the famous Stonehenge in England, which wouldn't be built for another 4,000 years. Now, all the way over in Japan, this mysterious structure was unearthed. At first, it looks like an underwater Machu Picchu. The site is filled with a huge pyramid-shaped structure arches, staircases. It's something that could have easily been a palace or a castle. Behold, the Yonaguni Monument. It also goes by the name of Japan's Atlantis. The entire monument is about the size of five football fields and the height of a five-story building. Its most surprising structure is its expansive terraces that host large crowd gatherings. Explorers and scientists believe that Yonaguni dates back to 10,000 years ago. But whether it is a human-made structure or a natural formation is still under debate. For Japan's top marine geologist, Yonaguni is the heritage of a lost civilization. This guy has dived into exploring the ruins over a hundred times over the past 10 years. According to him, there are clear signs of human activity down there. The triangle pool, located on the monument's surface, is a triangle-shaped concave that is a historical symbol of water fountains in the region. There's also a giant turtle carved on the eastern side of the structure, which has an important cultural meaning. Several pieces of stone tools have been recovered from the site. Their estimated age dates back to 10,000 years ago. However, not all scientists are convinced of this explanation. For many, Yonaguni is the result of thousands of years of erosion. The fact that the monument is composed of one massive rock leads them to believe it is not human-made. The defined edges and flat surfaces resemble a natural formation occurrence in Northern Ireland known as Giant's Causeway. A series of interlocking basalt columns look like the ruins of a palace, but they were the result of volcanic activity in the region. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.